Hello, today I will show you how to do a lace fabric. Let's learn how to do it. I'm going to have this lace fabric in the end, so before that, let's just make a black shirt and then we will reproduce the lace sleeves. Now I have my glow window open and I am going to add a female avatar to my 3D window. You can find it on the library in the case um, I am using a female avatar from the female v2 folder. Now I am going to select my patterns, a DXA file, and I am going to add them to my workspace as well. You can double click on them and then press the OK button. Now I am going to organize the patterns first. So here's the front, the sleeves is going to be here, and then the back here, and the collar on top. I am going to cut the front and back patterns in the middle, in the base lines we have. For that, let's try the trace tool. You can find it in the 2D window toolbar. With this tool, now we can do a right click on the line and select cut. I'm going to do this for the front pattern and now for the back pattern. Now we select one side in both front and back patterns, right click and delete. So we remain with only one side. To make the window a little wider, I'll hide the library aside. I'm going to use the free sewing tool. And then let's start sewing. Um, first, we can do the seam lines, then the shoulders and the sleeve. In the armhole, we have to match the red notch we have. from here to here and from here to the next red notch and then repeat this for every notch even here I am going to go to the notch not to the blue dot and this is it Now I am going to duplicate my patterns with symmetry. For that, select a pattern with the Transform Pattern Tool shortcut A. I am going to select three patterns, so front, back and the sleeve, while leaving the two other patterns, then right click on top of one of them and select symmetric pattern with sewing. Now everything I do on one side is going to be automatically done in the other side. I am going to sew the center lines for the front and back patterns, so select segment sewing tool N and I am going to do one click, one click and the same for the back. Now we need to sew the color pattern pieces to the reference lines we have in the main patterns. So to be able to sew them before we need to activate these baselines 
and for that we can use the trace tool. So I'm going to select the trace tool, shortcut I, select the baseline we want to activate and press enter. Then we will have an internal line instead. Because the symmetric pattern is applied, you only need to activate the baseline on one side only. So we do this for the front and the back, and now we can select free sewing tool, M. And we can start sewing everything together. Select the Edit Sewing tool to select all the sewings we just did for the color and then in the Property Editor change the line type to Turn. The reason we need to do this is that if we don't change the turned line type there is going to be a gap between the layers. In the case of a seam line that overlaps two patterns together, you should always change the sewing line type to turn. So here this sewing line and all these sewing lines need to be in turn. Now I'm going to sew the inner line to the baseline we just activated and for that I am going to use the segment sewing tool and also in this case when we sew something to an internal line the sewing line type is always going to be automatically interned so we don't need to modify it in this case Now I'm going to repeat for the back pattern what I did in the front and then change again the sewing line type to turn. For all of the sewing lines. Once all the sewing work is done, I'll try to place all the patterns correctly around the avatar in the 3D window. The shortcut too is going to place the avatar on the center of the window. Now with Reset to the Arrangement All tool that you can find in the 3D window toolbar, we can organize all of the patterns automatically in the 3D window as we have them in the 2D window, just like this. Since the patterns should not cover the, the arrangement points uh, all over the avatar, before we work with them, I'm going to select Select Move Tool, press Ctrl A, all the patterns will be selected, and then move them up so I get a clear view of the avatar. And in the Display menu in the 3D window, select Show Arrangement Points. I will be selecting the patterns in the 2D window. I'm going to select one, only one front pattern because of the linked editing and I am going to click on the arrangement point that is working for this pattern. Now I'm going to do the same for the back and for the sleeve for which I need a side view of the avatar. For the patterns of the color, what I need is to select them, do right click on them in the 3D window and select Superimpose Under because I want them to be placed inside of my shirt. 
Now I can go to the display menu and deactivate show arrangement points. And now we can simulate with the space tab. We are going to have this in the end and for that we are going to apply a fabric and change the color. If I go to library, I already have my black fabric which I am going to apply by double clicking on it or selecting it from the library and dragging it into the garment. I can also drag and drop it to the object browser and then if you simulate the fabric will change of shape. On the front pattern I am going to merge the pattern center lines. With the edit pattern tool I do a right click on one of the lines and then I select merge. Now I can simulate again. I'm going to do the same for the back and simulate again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the pose of the avatar. I go to my library to the avatar folder, female v2, and then I search for post folder. In here, I'm going to select attention post by double clicking on it. I am going to select all the patterns in the 2D window and then go to the property editor to decrease the particular distance from 20 to 5. Now we can simulate again. The view of the internal lines and baselines in the 3D window is activated. If you don't want to see them, you can deactivate the view of both in the display menu in the 3D window. Then it looks good and now we are going to do the lace. But before doing something like texture on a fabric or a top stitch, it is good to complete all the simulation. So with high resolution garment, I am going to try to increase the resolution of the garment. You can click OK. The simulation starts and when nothing else changes anymore, you can click to turn off the simulation. To express the lace in Claw, the first thing we can do is use an image with no background. For that, we need to make the image transparent. To have the texture of the lace you want, you can take a picture using a scanner or a camera. In order to cut out the background of the lace, we need a contrasted color between the lace and the background. I am going to open my file in Photoshop. Once I have it here, I can arrange my layers. And we can use the color range function that you can find on the top menu. Select, select, color range from the main menu 
and use the eyedropper to click once on the background and then you can adjust how many color values need to be selected. I've selected all the backgrounds and now I can delete it. So press the OK button and then delete on the keyboard. Since we want to express transparency, we must save this file as a PNG file. Now, after saving the image file, I am going to open it in Clone. Now we want to apply this image in our sleeves to make the shirt look like this. I am going to open my library and search for the PNG file I just uh, saved. We need to select both sleeves, so with transform tool pattern select while holding shift both patterns Press Assign to add a new fabric to the sleeve patterns. Drag and drop the PNG texture file. You can also import textures directly here. Just drag and drop. If I select Edit texture tool in the 3D window toolbar, I can relocate, scale and rotate the lace textures as I like. Now we have completed our lace shirt. If you have any further questions, please uh, comment below and thank you for watching.